Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the sincere brothers, the hopeful elect, that's doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the name of who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. You know, in this lesson, it's going to be uh, various topics, you know, going to these uh, prophecies, okay? And um, low on the set of fine, you know, because, you know, we're approaching the end of this kingdom, which is uh, biblically known as Babylon the Great, okay? You know, which is uh, America, okay, is the, the focal point of this kingdom, okay? And this place is uh going down man little by little every day all right so uh let's get these prophecies just like you start off with uh the apocrypha all right second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 behold speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth Save Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? So it says, Speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Okay? And it's the Most High speaking to Ezra. Okay? And um, who is the Most High's people? When you read the Bible, the Most High's people are the Israelites. Okay? And um, the word Israel goes back to the Hebrew word Yasha Allah, meaning he is a prince. Of the power or he is a prince of god so we're princes of the most high man the most high is our king and we're his princes man and we're, we're we're sons of the most high man okay that's why the scriptures say uh i have said that ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high meaning sons the word children in the hebrew is bun okay and the israelites today are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right you got israelites that may not look like the traditional so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, all right? Because Israel has been scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, okay? Looking like every other nation under the sun, all right? Because the men of Israel lay with the heathen women, all right? The heathen women of the other nations. So we may look so-called white. We may look like a so-called Chinese. We may look like a so-called East Indian or so-called Arab, okay? But that doesn't make them actual heathens. They're actually, you know, you got Israelites that look like them. All right. And the Most High said to speak to these people. Okay. It says, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Why, why, are, we, why are we speaking in the ears of the Most High's people the words of prophecy? Because we're in a time where prophecy is going to happen, man. And you got prophecies that's, that, that, that uh, involves the Most High bringing judgment, okay? You know, such as uh, Jacob's trouble, man, okay? Which, you know, I'll get some scriptures on that, you know? But let me read this, all right? It says, it caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Because these, these, these prophecies, all right, these, um, these words that the Most High... Uh, spoke unto the, the prophets that have been before us. They've been recorded in the in the Bible, man. Okay, which is uh, the, the word Bible. Uh, it means a composition of books, man. Okay. Um, we do with the word uh, Biblios, man. That's where the word originates from, man. But um, read on. It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." Yeah. Okay, so we don't fear the imagination against us, and what are the imagination against us, man? People scoffing, mocking. Okay, people people are uh, scoffing at the the, the, um, the prophecies, man. Okay, people talking uh, shit about us. All right, we we're not we're not fearing what you think. We're not fearing about what you uh you know claim you're gonna do, man. Cause you know you know they make threats to you know. They threaten brothers, man, you know. 
You know, we got Esau, man. We're not we're not afraid of uh, of Esau, man. Okay, whether they, that's why our brothers is out there risking their lives and freedom, man. Whether they try to throw us in jail, or whatever, all right, or even worse, kill us, man. Because it was up to them, they would kill us, just like they killed the the the, the, the prophets in the ancient world, man. Okay. But it says not not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, we're not letting the the um the unbelief, because that's what the word incredulity means. We're not gonna let that trouble us, man. Because, you know, uh, the Most High gives us the spirit to be grounded, man, and rooted in His truth, man. And Lord willing, we endure. You know, and you know, wholeheartedly believing that this is the truth, because this is reality, man. All right, we are the Israelites. All right, based upon what the Scriptures say, man. All right, the Spirit itself bears witness that we are the children of the Most High. Okay. You know, we're the ones. That, that, that fit the curses of Deuteronomy 28th chapter, not these other nations, okay? The Bible, the Bible uh, speaks of characteristics of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, and physical traits, man, saying uh, the Bible says uh, who the world we call Jesus Christ was a so-called black man with woolly hair. The Most High is a so-called black man with woolly hair, okay? So that's, 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 uh, that's evidence right there, man, who the Lord's people are. All right? And um, let's read on. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, that's, that's two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay? It says, um, Behold, say of Yahweh, about Shemi Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay? And um, it says, I'm going read it again. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what the Most High is bringing, man. Okay? That's what, got, that's what you got going on right now, man. All right? You know, you got uh, sword, which is a representation of uh, wars being fought, man. Okay? You got wars and rooms of wars taking place right now, man. All right? Over there in the land of Israel, you got the Israelis and the Palestinians going at it, man. Okay. You got the U.S. troops with over 700 military bases throughout uh, different parts of the world, man. You know, um, police in other countries. Okay. Um, like it says right here. Um, sword, famine. Okay. And you got famines going on, man. Shortages of food, shortages of crops in America and other places across the globe, man. All right, other other countries, you know, they they, they uh, have a hunger crisis, man. Okay. Then you got, uh, it says death and destruction, man, because that's what the Most High is bringing, man. Okay, to the whole world, including two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay. And, you know, let's get into those scriptures going into what's going to happen to two-thirds, man. All right. That's prophecy as well, man, because two-thirds is prophesied to be cut off and die. All right, so let's get, uh, let's get, uh, slack here. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? Yeah. And that's the time we approach him, man. The Most High is going to bring trouble upon Jacob, man. Which are you Israelites. Okay? You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Alright? It's talking about you. Okay? And the day it's talking about, it's talking about the day of the Lord, man. When the Most High starts bringing that judgment, man. It's gonna begin when the dollar collapses, all right? It's gonna begin when, um, you know, the dollar collapses, all right? Um, you know, because anything can happen, man, with like a major false flag attack can just offset this this uh, this uh World War Three or economic collapse, okay, or a famine, okay? So, we're at that time, man, okay? That's why it's important for the men of the Lord to watch as well as pray, man. 
so that that day don't overtake us as a thief. Okay? So it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. That's the elect. Only elect is going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Because Jacob's trouble consists of Jerusalem being uh, compassed with armies, man. All right? The troops of uh, the so-called white man. Okay? Martial law. All right? Concentration camps. Okay? Lockdowns. Curfews, man. Okay? Let the, let the, uh, let, let inflation go up, you know, to where, you know, certain things like, like a, like a bottle of water is, is, uh, $15. People are gonna fucking lose it, man. It's gonna be bank runs, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all hell breaking loose, man. Okay. It says, uh, as a matter of fact, let me get, let me get Revelation 12 and 12, Okay. Cause we're telling you, man, that while you people are trusting in your, your 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 enemies, man, behind closed doors, they they are plotting to, you know, work out this plan, this new world order agenda, to destroy you. Okay. This is Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. It says, "Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea." For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because you know that he have but a short time. Okay. So, the devil is talking about the so-called white man, because the word devil means uh, deceiver and slanderer, and that's the, that's Esau, man. He's a slanderer, man. He's a slanderer of the Israelites and all the other nations, beginning with Israel. Okay. And it says, uh, the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Yeah. All right, because he's gonna pass them draconian laws, man. Because we read Revelation the thirteenth chapter, it tells you, man. Um, it tells you that um, that he spake as a dragon, man. So that's dealing with the so-called white man. All right, with them with them unrighteous decrees, man. All right, them uh, draconian laws that they're gonna have in effect, man. They're already starting now. You know, trying to um, tempt you. To take that thing, man. To take the you know what. Alright. Offering you all types of goodies. Alright. And and why why are they trying so hard for you to receive that thing? It's because there's an agenda behind it, man. Alright? And it's to destroy you Israelites, man, and to wipe out as many as you as he could. Going back to his agenda, man, the New World Order agenda. Maintain humanity under five hundred million. All right, all right, and that's the precursor to the to the uh, mark of the beast, which is the uh, microchip, man. Okay, the microchip implant, which that's that's here now too. That's how we know we at the end because the the microchip is is a uh, is here. Okay, it's out there in Sweden. People are using it to pay for things. Okay, to to tr to travel, you know. To pay for items, all right. Going back to Revelation 13 chapter on the mark of the beast, you know. But yeah, man, Esau is coming down with that great wrath, man. Because you know that he had but a short time, all right. You know they see, they see, they see their kingdom falling, beginning with the elites, okay. And they see us on the highways and the byways, going back to Revelation 11, where it says great fear came upon them which saw them. So they see us, man. They see they see their kingdom falling, man. Okay. You know, and um, let's get some more scriptures, man. All right. Um, let's get Revelation 18. You know, because we're talking about the destruction, right? It says, uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse. 21 it says and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be no more found at all as a matter of fact as a matter of fact I started Revelation 18 
and verse verse 15 it says the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing yeah that's talking about the, 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 the uh the traders because the word merchant deals with our uh, trading goods all right let's talk about these these are uh, businessmen that do business with America, man, from other nations, man. Okay? The merchants from these other nations. Okay? It says, uh, which were made rich by her shall stand afar off. Because these countries were made rich by trading and doing business with America, man. Okay? It says, uh, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing yeah because they're gonna see when them uh 200 million warheads from the icbms reach america and and hit ground zero they're gonna see that these other nations they're gonna be watching from afar all right and they're gonna see america being destroyed man all right not only are they going to see it, they're going to feel it. Because the scripts say the earth's going to reel to and fro like a drunkard, man. Okay? And they're gonna, why are they going to be uh, weeping and wailing? Because this place is going to be no more, man. This place is going to be a desert. And they're not going to be able to make money from this place anymore. Because it's going to be destroyed. And it says, and saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for one hour so great riches has come to naught and every sh shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and they cr and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city that's talking about America and yeah man once America is destroyed man you ain't gonna be able to, to uh, indicate which state was which. You ain't gonna be able to indicate New York from California, man. It's gonna be all desert, man. All right. That's why the scriptures say that elements shall melt with fervent heat. This place is gonna be reduced to, to 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 powder, man. All right. It says, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas. That great city wherein were made rich, all had that had ships, and the reason by reason of Salakia, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Yeah, because America came, uh, became a um, an established nation, and uh, I believe it was um, what 1776, I believe. Okay, and um, you know, you know, it's been in power ever since. Okay, but in one hour, the Most High is going to take the Most High to destroy this place. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me look that up just to make sure. Bear with me for a second. Yeah, 1776, the Declaration of Independence. Okay, when America so-called so got its independence from uh, Great Britain. Okay. And um, it says, uh, verse 20, Revelation 18, 20, it says, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High have avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. Okay? So this place is going to be destroyed, man. All right? That angel is talking about is, is, is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is coming to bring that, that destruction, man, with the chariots, man. The scriptures tell you that the Lord... Um, as a matter of fact, I'll get that too. I'll close out with that, as a matter of fact. Okay? Alright? And that C represents um, 
the multitude of the different nations that, that dwell here in America, man. Okay? Yeah, and this place is going to go down with violence, man, because it was established on violence. Therefore, it's only right for this place to go down by violence, man. All right? Um, and that millstone represents, you know, the um, nuclear destruction, man. Okay? All right, and also the... The, 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 the chariots is going to uh, destroy this place as well, man. The laser beams from the chariots. Okay. And they're going to be guided here through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemi al Shai. So, uh, let me get Isaiah 66 and 15. Now, this is one of my favorite scriptures. Right. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. It says, For behold, Yahweh by Hashem Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay? So Yahweh by Hashem Shai is going to come with fire, man. Okay? Ch fire from the ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Like scriptures say, 200,000, thousand, which equals 200 million. It's talking about 200 million warheads, okay? From the ICBMs. All right, and um, it says, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, yeah, because the chariots they're gonna shoot concentrated uh fire, which is them laser beams, man, on his place. All right, and that's why you see more and more sightings of uh chariots, man, you know, you know, not you know, every now and then, brothers look up to see if you know, we see any chariots, you know. Because the chariots are making themselves known more and more. All right. And just the last year alone, there was so many reports of uh, chariot sightings, man. Compared to, you know, any um, of the different years before it, man. All right. Especially here in America. Okay. Now you got the, um, got the government, you know, uh, releasing statements, you know, that were once classified by the... Um, the, the air pilots, all right, concerning UFOs, man, okay, and they, 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 um, you know, talking about UFOs now, man, you know, releasing footage and everything, so it just goes to show you that the scriptures is real, man, and, and, and the chariots are biblical, all right, and we're, we're getting close. So it says, um, verse 15, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh Shem Shai plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh Shem Shai shall be many. Okay? Yeah. So that's how the Lord is coming back, man. That's why the scriptures say, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord, man. Because that day is darkness and not light. All right? The Most High is coming to bring uh, judgment, man. All right? Most High is coming to put these people's lamp, lamps out, man, in obscure darkness, you know, Most High is coming to do that, and he's going to do it by the way of his chariots, which is uh, the so-called UFOs shooting concentrated uh, laser beams, okay, and then um, the nuclear destruction, man, okay, and then you got Yahweh Shai and the angels, man, all right, Yahweh Shai coming back to, to um, slay, you know, those that pierced him, which was 2,000 years ago, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. And two-thirds of his 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 uh, his uh own people, man. That's how scriptures say, those mine adversaries, which are not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Okay? So, um, that was it. I'll close there. You know, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash, double honors to the Apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Low willingness is out of fine lesson. Till next time, Shalom.